What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is going to be a really random quick video. Uh, some people have been talking about how the new expansion is coming out and am I concerned it's going to break my game, my Let's Play series and so on. Uh, I, I have had game files kind of destroyed and bugged out um, when rolling back to previous versions of the game. And uh, it can be a pain in the butt to do that. So I'm going to show you guys what is a really good solution. Uh, there might be a better solution or a less complicated solution or something that might not involve you having an external hard drive which is exactly what you're going to need to do to do this. Um, but yeah, I thought I would go ahead and share this with you guys because maybe some of you can benefit from it if you don't want to update your game. And uh, although the patch is coming out tomorrow and it might be a bit late, maybe this information will be beneficial for you and you could util utilize it in the future. So this is a really solid solution in my opinion. Um, I quickly just want to say that very often when you post something to the internet, a lot of people talk about like, oh, why don't you just do this? Um, I'm not going to explain why I'm not going to just do that. Um, there are actually issues that I have encountered uh, with many uh, things that you might think are a solution. And uh, things are going to get really complicated if, if I go on and talking about why those things don't work for me. But uh, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to show you guys really quickly that my game is actually not install installed on Steam, according to Steam. But you can see here that I have a shortcut on my desktop. If we open that up, my game's going to run perfectly fine. I was playing it just a moment ago. Now, in order to set this up for yourself, what you're going to want to need to do is uh, you're going to need an external hard drive. That's what my ebook is, okay? Or my book E. Um, so we're going to go to our D drive, which is where my Steam folder is uh, installed. Now the same thing is going to be, you're going to be able to do the same thing on any operating system as far as I know. Just go to your Steam folder, go to Steam applications in common. Now this is where all the Steam, I don't have that many games installed because my computer is new. Uh, but this is where my, your Steam games are going to be. We can see Total War and Total War is just here. Now uh, I've, I've removed EU4, so let's pretend that Total War is EU4, okay? What you're going to want to do is just copy or paste, or cut or copy, rather. You're going to want to cut or copy, it doesn't matter, and move this these folders into your external hard drive. Then you're going to want to come to Steam, so let's do Total War. You're going to want to right-click Total War and hit Uninstall. Now that's going to remove the game entirely from your computer, except your external hard drive. And we're going to go ahead and take the uh, game from your external hard drive and you're just going to go ahead and store it back on your computer. Now in my case, I put it in Steam Steam apps and I just created a folder here called EU4 so that I don't lose track of it. And in here is the game and uh, in there is all of the game files, the application, everything, the shortcut, which you can drag to anywhere, not just your uh, desktop, you can put it on your uh, your little bar or whatever. Um, now with this exact scenario like that, you're going to be able to open the game and uh, it's not going to update. It's not going to update when you close the game. It's, uh, yeah, it's untouchable. Even when the patch comes out, it's untouchable. So I hope that helps you guys. And uh, one last thing, you might wonder, do I have to reinstall the game, like hit install and reinstall the game? Yes, you do have to hit install. But it's not going to take long. If you do want to patch your game, just take your files, go back to common and drag them in there where they should be with all the rest of your games. Then exit, hit install, and uh, Steam will just quickly register the fact that it is installed with the exception of the new patch game files. And it will just go ahead and patch your game. Shouldn't take much longer than usual and you'll be good to go. So that's my solution with my Brandenburg Let's Play to be able to finish my game without actually worrying about the expansion, and I hope that benefited some of you. Thanks for watching.